Hello again and welcome to Ndudu by Fafa. Hello creators, I hope everyone is doing well. Now in London, we are in the tier for a lockdown, which means that you know it can be dilapidating on one's brain. So early in the morning, I prefer to go for a quick walk and then pass through my local grocer and grab some fresh groceries and I love it. So of course, I grab some few asparagus and other items. And yes, I am going to be sharing my immune boosting packed with antioxidant nutrient dense asparagus salad the trick to preserve your asparagus for much longer is to dip it in a cup of water yes and that would keep it fresher for much longer next thing to prepare your asparagus of course once you get it from the shop as i always mentioned just wash everything with salt and water and you're good to go and what you need to do is just snap it and where it naturally snaps you can use the tips for your salads and everything else and of course the bottom part which is very woody um, is best to use that in making your soup so the next recipe of course will be my asparagus soup but it's not any other soup is that in dudu soup if this is your first time you're welcome thank you very much for tuning in and um, yes please don't forget to click the subscribe button and also activate your notification so that each time I upload a video, you are notified of it and you do not miss a thing. A second trick is um, if you want to make your asparagus shavings using your potato peeler, it's best to place it on top of a knife. I know I learned about this and I was like, oh, let me try it. And it worked perfectly because even when you're making your plantain chips or anything and you start using your um potato peeler you notice that when you get to the end you, you, you're just not able to get it to that point yes because the potato peelers are done in a way to protect your fingers so if you just follow this trick yes you could get to your asparagus shavings alternatively you can use your knife to thinly cut it if that's what you want and what i then tend to do is with a tip itself i just divide it in two Now I need to bulk up my salad. So I will be using my bulgur wheat for this. And to a bowl, I'm just adding about five tablespoonful of my bulgur wheat. The next ingredient is my dehydrated baby plant tomatoes. I'm just going to add a few pieces and you can use fresh tomatoes instead. In my previous video, I showed you how to slow bake your garlic. So I took the garlic pieces out of its shell. I used the shell in making some garlic stock, exactly. And then added a little bit of dried herbs. I mixed it, added extra olive oil, and I've infused it in this container. This comes in handy for most of my recipes, especially when it needs or requires garlic as well. So I'm just scooping about three tablespoonful of this beautiful mixture and then i'm just mixing everything together till it's well combined at this point you might go like god that looks so cheap that just looks like it's drenched in olive oil and um, bearing in mind this is a salad that i'm making so yes i'm not going to be making a dressing this is just going to go with it all so it would all make sense later so now i'm adding my salt to taste and of course i'm mixing it all together meanwhile get your your kettle on and boil some hot water now of course i need to add my freshly milled black peppercorns which i'm adding to it as you do and yet again i'm mixing it till it's well combined and at this point i can now add my hot water because i'm going to cover it with a cling film and leave it on the side because it's going to swell up it's going to absorb all that moisture and then later i'll reintroduce it to my asparagus or nano ninko it's quite easy to make really so if you don't have the sun-dried tomatoes don't worry just grab your fresh tomatoes that works equally well so using the same oil i've placed that in my frying pan and to that i've added half of my chopped onions i'm using banana shallots here but you can use any onion of your choosing and then i'm adding a little bit of salt i'm going to fry this mixture for at least about five minutes on that medium to low heat to a bowl, add your apple cider vinegar 
and half a teaspoon of brown sugar. Add a pinch of salt and mix it together until it's well combined because I'm going to be adding the remaining onions to this mixture. What's going to happen is the onion is going to take this sweet and sour taste and also it's going to mellow in its flavor. It's not going to be as sharp exactly. This works perfectly for this dish because of course I'm going for sweet, sour flavor here and the textures is all going to be crunchy. At this point, my onions just looks beautiful and looks like it's just becoming sweeter. So now I'm adding my asparagus. Now this I'm only going to fry for about two minutes because I still need the asparagus to be crunchy and just beautiful. But this is just me introducing some little heat, residual heat to me I say, because this has been cooking on that medium to low heat and also for that flavor. Next, then I'm grating the zest of one lemon and I'm also going to be using the juice of half the lemon. Exactly. And I'd use the remaining half to make some lemon tea. Why not? As I say, there's no waste in this kitchen. And of course, I'm mixing everything together until it's well combined. So as I mentioned, I'm using half the juice of the lemon. So you see the onion with the sugar and the vinegar, it comes in handy with this flavor. Exactly. So mix everything together. And at this point, I'm just going to turn the heat off, but then I'm going to reintroduce that garlic flavor. So I've just scooped a bit of the garlic pieces there that has actually been slow cooked to perfection. And it's nice, rich and dark. And that changes the flavor of the garlic entirely anyway. So yeah, this looks good. And I think that I'm ready to move on to my my next step. If you do like what you see so far, please don't forget to give this video a like, yes, a thumbs up, and also leave your comments below. So now I'm just going to transfer my asparagus into a bowl, and then I'm going to check on my bulgur wheat. Now, in the absence of the bulgur wheat, you can use the Ghanaian normal wheat um, for this recipe, absolutely, or any brown rice. Try quinoa, yes, couscous, um, gari even, yes, exactly, or fornio, yes, absolutely. So now I've just added my onions that I've actually soaked or marinated, me I say, um, in the apple cider vinegar and sugar, and I'm just mixing it all together whilst everything is nice and warm. So now let's check the bulgur wheat, and that looks beautiful. Okay, Minnie. <laughs> now, when I checked my bulgur wheat earlier, it still had a bite. So I did place it in the microwave for another 50 seconds and that just worked perfectly. Alternatively, you can boil the bulgur wheat, but I needed to make a quick recipe. So here I'm going to add my homemade chili flakes and that will just add that, you know, kick of a flavor to it. Absolutely. And here I'm ready to serve. It's as easy as one, two, three. I think the next day I used the remaining asparagus as well to make a new version of this. So yes, in terms of the replacement of ingredients as to bulk, to bulk it up, you ask world for choice. And yeah, it's Valentine's coming soon. Yes, you definitely need something like this um, for, yeah, for your lunch maybe. Yeah, but then again, the <laughs> out... <laughs> Anyway, I'll leave that to your imagination. Just so you know, asparagus is rich in B vitamins and the roots, they say, yes, it's an aphrodisiac. So exactly. And of course, it also makes one happy, you know. So yes, exactly in those depressing times, definitely need dishes that would, you know, lighten up the mood. As I mentioned earlier, this was the one that I made with the fonio, and that was lighter. You can use your quinoa or gari as well. Yeah, naturally, I'd leave the list of ingredients and measurements on my blog, fafagilbert.com, so do check it out. I'm on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat as Indudu by Fafa, so pass by and say hi. Narelle, thank you very much for my theme song. And until my next recipe, please take care of yourselves. Yes, and guess what? Me, I love you for you, as I always say. And be yourself. Toodles.